Okay, uh, we're back on the sofa. My last guest used physical violence. Uh, I hope my next one doesn't. We all have our heroes. Uh, after all, it's only natural to admire sports champions, pop stars, and all-round entertainers. Uh, but there are some of those uh, amongst us who worship their idols to a point beyond normality. And the men in white coats are just waiting around the corner because today on The Big Breakfast celebrates one rare example of those remarkably single-minded people as we present our Monday Obsessive. Please welcome to the show Mr. William Broom. There's William Broom. Thank you very much. Thank you. There you go. How's things? Things are great. They're pop-tastic. They're rocking and rolling along. There you go. It's, it's Alan Freeman's son. Right, mate. Not off. <laughs> <laughs> you got it in one. <laughs> okay, uh, you're 22. You're a graduate that lives in Kensington in London. You're a little bit frisky. Tell us who you're obsessed with. I am obsessed with the one and only guy, the one who made the mop-top hairstyff unfashionable, Mr. Bobby Office Boy Crush. Yeah. Bobby Crush. Oh. There you go. Okay, just for some of you younger people at home that don't know who Bobby Crush is uh, and think that William is off as not, here is the maestro at work. <laughs> Piano playing legend Bobby Crush first won the nation's hearts in 1971 with his six consecutive triumphs on Huey Green's Opportunity Knox. His amazing success brought him the 1972 Variety Club of Great Britain Award for Best New Artist. This led to many special occasions including this legendary meeting with the Queen Mother. The following year Bobby smashed into the top 40 with his singles The Sting and Borsalino. But Bobby's greatest moment came 10 years later in 1982 when he wrote one of the world's most memorable songs ever to grace the British charts. I wish I could fly way up to the sky but I can't. You can? I can't. Yes, Keith Harris and Orville's I Wish I Could Fly was penned by none other than Bobby himself. His continuing legend led to illustrious meetings with a host of celebrities. Today, Bobby can still be found performing with the other stars on Blackpool Pier and on board a variety of royal cruise ships. That's what it's all about. William is getting very excited here on the show. He are getting, yeah, baby, yeah. Um, <laughs> baby. So, so what is it about Bobby Chris then that you find so fascinating after having a little look at him then? It's got to be that enthusiasm, that campness as he puts those fingers, sweaty fingers, along that piano keyboard and plays away to that audience who are all pensioners. We play bingo before the concerts. But I love it. I've got to be up there. He's well, with the Blue Rinse Brigade. Well, they can't well, get enough William, of him. William, 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 just, just wind the volume. Oh, hold down. back, just, hold just back, hold back. back. Okay, and are you serious? Are you serious? I'm completely serious. This is Th no This hoax. is not like a sort of a, I'm coming on to be wacky on the no, bed. Like, no, not at truthfully. all. Would I collect all of this memorabilia if I wasn't a fan? How many albums have you got? Tell you what, I've got about seven albums. He Tell did me what? 16. One of them, one of my favourites. How many albums has he? Has he's, he's done about 16 albums. He's got a new one coming out soon. I've got seven. But I'll tell you why I've got so few. You're really obsessed. I am obsessed. Because you've got to Less go to, half. you know, you've got to go to every second-hand record store to find these. These are out of print. I have to beg at Portobello Market in Manchester. I have to beg people over 75. Can I have your records? What do you have please? to do to get the records off? I the have old to people? go all over the country. I have to, I have to beg them. I say, have you got one of his debuts? Have you got one of these, for instance? And I have to get it off them. There you go. 10p. 10p for that. Oh. 50p Portobello Market. Okay, there you go. Um, I understand that you're such a fan that, that whenever you actually get the albums home, you learn them and you play along on the piano. I do. Underneath the arches, sunny side of the street. Whatever okay. you like, I'll play it. Okay, uh, we've got a clip of that. Uh, hi, hold tight here, kids. Here he is. Can, can I just say, okay, that William playing the piano got more of a cheer than the fact that Craig David was the youngest ever person to be number one in Britain. Yeah. Uh, that, that's, that's what type of, type of show we have this morning. Can I have morning. my own single? What's that? Can I have my own single then? Uh, you can have your own single uh, if you want. Okay. Uh, what, do you, what do your friends and family think of this uh, upset? My friends think I'm completely mad. All I talk about is Bobby Crush. I just talk about this because they're talking about Step, Scooch, you name it, Craig David. And I'm talking about Bobby Crush, Borsellino, Singing him on the Isle of Wight, yeah. singing him in Hay, singing him in Croydon, just moving, watching I bet every he, concert. I bet he loves you, does he? I, 
Well, it's funny you should say that. He, I, the first time I saw him was at the Café Royal in Regent Street. I wrote, wrote him two letters. He sent me two CDs. And then, then, then he phones me up and invites me out for dinner at Joe Allen's bar. Oh, oh I... And we had dinner together. It was fantastic. You had dinner with Bobby. I'd be Bobby Crush. Okay. Very surreal. There you go. Very surreal. Fine. Okay, there you go. I think you could be. I think with those hand movements, you could probably get a presenter's job on Granada Men and Motors. Granada <laughs> Men and Motors. Okay, uh, if you're genuinely obsessed, let's just check this out. We have three fan-related questions, uh, Bobby Crush questions, just just to check uh, your credentials. Here we go. Which British pianist does Bobby claim his was his biggest influence? It can only be one. Russ Conway is the correct answer. Oh. Uh, who's Bobby's all-time favorite singer? Oh, uh, it's, I know it's a woman. It's, it's not Barbara Dixon, is it? It's not! It's oh, Dusty oh, Springfield! Oh, there you go! Oh, oh, you got that one wrong. Who presented Bobby with his 1972 Best New Artist Award? It's got to be. Well, the host was Huey Green. And we all know that one of the... No, less of the Tim Rice. Stop talking us through it. Come uh, on, we just want the answer. Huey Green, who presented it? Who presented it? It wasn't the guy who wrote the Neighbours theme tune, Tony Hatch, it was wasn't. it? It wasn't it, Tony... Give me a clue, give me one clue. You've got to give me one clue. No clues, no clues. One clue, I need an answer. 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 I need one clue. I need an answer. One clue. One clue. One clue. One clue. First name. First name. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, <laughs> go on, go on. First name. Louis. 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 Oh, God. Um, not there you go. He doesn't know. Okay. He thought it was Tony Hatz that wrote the theme tune for Neighbours. It was, of course, very close to that. Lord Mountbatten of Burma. There you go. Uh, of course, who wrote the theme tune to Crossroads. Now, uh, well, that was Tony Hatch. No, that was, yeah, that's right. Okay, William, uh, as you know, I've been told to move on in the earpiece, but I really don't need that information because I am moving right along. Oh. Well, William, uh, as you know, Bobby is rarely in the country, but we did manage to track him down this morning oh, no. on Unfortunately, when he heard it was you, he was too busy uh, oh. to be with us this morning. Oh, uh, Bobby! But he has recorded this message for you. Hello, William. It's Bobby here. And I was very moved to hear how much you're interested in my life and my career. But for goodness sake, get a life. I'm going over to Mrs. Meagles. Mrs. Okay. Meagles is having uh, me. Thanks for that, William Broom. <laughs> there he is, Mr. William much. Broom. Okay, if you've got an obsession and you need to tell us about it, write to us and tell us here at the Big Breakfast Lock Keepers Cottage, Old Ford Lock, London E3 2 N N N N N. This is Channel 4. Uh, you're watching the Big Breakfast where we build them up to knock them down. Oh. And now, just as a special treat for the lovely William, he's getting who is excited. Obsessed. He's getting excited. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Bobby Crush. Oh, yes. Yes. news on the baby yet, the baby born, and that might be born this week, we're hoping so. Until then, goodbye! <laughs>